Okay, we're going to put an L-shaped stair in this basement. So before I begin, um, we did a straight run stair. Maybe we should do a straight run first. Let's do a straight run because you need to know information before you can put in your L-shaped stair. You need to know how many risers until the landing. You need to know how, how many, where you're going to make that turn for an L or a U shape. So let's just do a straight run stair just for the practice of it. So our picture stair. And we're starting from the slab and we're going up to main floor. And we said 15 risers and we said it should be 10 inch uh, run. That's not including the nosing. So that's set and we should be good to go. And we're gonna start, I'm just gonna run this stair uh, right over the top of this wall. I don't even care, I'm just gonna start here. <coughs> oh, and the width of the stair, if we want a three foot six stair, we go three foot four in width. Usually taking a couple inches off, I've found makes the stair fit. So you can see it tells us as we drag this cursor, how many risers we're at. So it says six created, nine remaining in gray. And as I keep going, so for a straight run, obviously we just go straight past all of it like that. And I want you to notice that it's given us a 16th riser. And I said, uh, if you click on that stair while you're still in the construction process, we can tell it to end with a riser. And watch what happens when I say this, end with a riser. We wanna begin and end with risers. And it's my criticism with this software that I can't tell it to do that before I've started. So now it's got 15. If you counted these risers, there would be 15 here, plus they've got another one. And it even says plus one. We've got to get rid of that. So we take this blue dot and we drag it back exactly one riser. And unfortunately, we have to do that. If this setting was asked to us before, like it used to be in older versions of Revit, then we wouldn't have to fight with this. So this is a pet peeve I have with it. But anyway, there it is. And I'm going to say, OK. And I've got a section, oh good, right through it. Let's take a look at that section. That's our other stair out there. And so it's coming up there. This line right here represents the main floor, which is not built yet, because this is just a basement drawing. But you can see that there would be room to add your nosing and your floor trusses or floor joists would end at that point. And the stair runs down and it's got a nice clean uh, riser at the basement. Okay, so that's, Good, now what we need to know about that stair, if I click on it and say edit stairs, doesn't matter which view you're in, I wanna see that my riser heights here, and I'm gonna take a pen and mark this down, because my risers are seven and 205, uh, 256. We're not gonna to have to do uh, measuring. We're gonna use the automate, automated landing, but we do have to know how many risers. So it's 15 risers, so let's say, um, in our L-shaped stair, we want to go from the basement, we want to climb eight risers, and at that landing, we'll turn and go seven more risers. But we need to know, is it eight? Is it seven? How many before the landing? Because what's going to happen if I said from the basement, and that's where I'm constructing the stair, when I draw that line, it's going to tell me how many risers I've made and how many are left. So I want to know, and I want to preset a line for the beginning of that L shape. So watch this. Um, I'm just gonna cancel this stair. Oops. And we'll just get rid of that stair. I'm gonna try an L shaped stair in here. Now I'm gonna turn off the line weight so I can see. Let's say we want it to go eight risers up here with a landing and then the balance seven risers to the right. So if, I, if that's the case, I need to start with how uh, wide is my stair gonna be? So I'm just gonna draw a line here, how wide Let's do a three foot stair. So there's a three foot line and I'm gonna draw this all the way in here. And I wanna copy this somewhere over here. And I wanna know how far this is from, I'm gonna put dimensions on this just so we're really clear. I wanna know this layout, okay? So if my stair is three feet wide, I'll put a dimension on. This is all just lines, detail lines, so I can just scribble. So it's three feet wide. That means my landing is gonna to have to be three feet deep. Agree with that? Okay, so we got a three by three landing just sketched here. And if I said this first set of stairs is gonna be eight risers, how many treads is that? It's always one less, so seven treads. Seven times, seven, uh, seven times 10 inch run is 70 inches. So I want this to be 70 inches, 70 inches. Oh, I was close. Hey, holy man, that was a good guess. 
So there we are. Now I know that my steer will fit in there. Now, the reason I'm drawing all these lines is uh, I'll have a good start point because I'll be able to start from the middle of this thing, but I want a midpoint over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this line up. You can do it different ways. And I'm going to draw a separate line. I'm going to make sure those are, I'm going to make sure those are uh, closed. Yep, they are. Okay, now I'm going to just draw a separate line because I want to have um, a three foot line here so that it's got a midpoint when I go and pick on it. So do you see how I've got a single line here? I'll be able to pick the midpoint for that stair. Then when I turn the corner, I'll be able to pick a midpoint here. So I'll get the perfect landing. And I don't care where it finishes. We know it'll be seven risers, which is six treads, which is five feet, right? So let's try this. Okay, stair. Uh, close to side slab to main floor. Check, then you always have to check all this stuff, 10 inch. I think you can go in and change your template uh, formula to, so you don't have to do it every time. But I've got that, I've got no offset, I've got 10 inch, so we're good to go. I've got the, oh, the width now. Uh, it's a three foot stair, so two foot 10 is my width and automatic landing included. Okay, so I've got that box on. So I'm gonna try here now. So I'm gonna drag this and when I get to this one, I should be exactly, it should say, it's hard to read there. It says seven risers created, eight remaining. Did I do this right? Oh, you know why it's eight? Because I can't change that stupid, pardon me. I can't change that and begin with riser, end with riser until the stair is done. So I'm just gonna say, okay. So I click that and I come over here and I click that and I finish them off and click above. And there you see they've got that extra riser in there. Let's just, oh, I don't, yeah, that's right. Let's see, well, let's, let's just fix this thing. So this stair, yeah, oh, this is terrible. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, no, that was right, eight risers, that's right, eight. Oh yeah, there's, Hold on, I gotta tell this though. Oh, see, you have to do it as two separate stairs. You can click on them individually or together, but you see that this box is unchecked. So I'm gonna click on both. I'll hold the control, click them both and say, I wanna do this. Now watch what happens. Now it's correct. It's corrected this first part so that there's eight risers, but I had to know that. I had to know my distance. And then it moves over here to nine, up to 15. And then again, the plus one. So I'm gonna grab this and pull it back one because it should be nine, 10, 11, 12, 30, 40, 15, just like that. And let's check that and just see what that looks like. Oh yeah, look at that, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. That's pretty fantastic. Let's do a section through there. I'll go in right here. Uh, we'll cut there. And we'll look the other way. Let's see what that looks like. Uh, there it is. We can those. So we've got our stairs. That's going away from us, but this is in section. There's the main floor. So you've got room for your nosing and your uh, plywood hanger. Uh, your stair comes down and over. That landing looks good. The railing, oh, I got it overlapping with the wall a little bit, don't I? So my wall, oh, it's close. Oh, pretty good there, actually, aren't they? Look at that. That's right on. Now, you would you want to make sure that in your wall system, you've allowed for finish gypsum board and everything in there. So, but that's up to you when you draw that first three foot wide line in plan. You're setting it, right? So make sure that you have allowed it to be far enough away from that wall. But I think that's, oops, I think that's pretty good. I'm gonna put a section over here and flip that. Going up the stairs, it looks like this. Now, if it doesn't show any landing construction, we'd have to show two by six construction in there or whatever for the landing. Um, if I go to black and white and uh, put the line weights on there, it's a little more evident. Sorry, I've got dimensions from another. Yeah, there you go. 